hey, I can plant again, I'll just plant it again. So, yep, garden found. Yeah, it's, see, it's, found, it's failing, so it's just going all the way through. Tree not found, tree not found. Cool, and it can't plant. So I think I think we're okay there. I think we're okay there. So if we plant this, can it do it now? Oh, it grabs the seed! And it plants! Let's go, dude! We freaking programmed! Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about? That is what I am talking about, dude. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It is Lodis here, back with another episode, or I guess another video from Steam Next Fest. So, we're going to jump right on into this. It is Omega Crafter. It's pretty interesting. It's it, it almost looks like another one of those kind of games that you would play from... Whatchamacallit, uh, basically an open world game, the games that we've been sort of playing. So like Pal World and Shrouded and stuff like that. Um, basically, adventure in a vast open world survival craft game with your programmable sidekick, uh, Grammy. Uh, program the Grammy to collect materials, build your town, craft weapons and armor to challenge strong enemies, play alone or with friends online. Planned release date is March 29th of 2024. If you guys uh, end up enjoying this in any way, shape, or form, it is currently in early access, and the demo is on Steam. It was part of Steam Next Fest. And, uh, yeah, if you guys do end up enjoying, make sure you guys add it to your wish list, and, uh, yeah, we'll see uh, We'll see how it goes. We'll jump right on into this, and hopefully, um, hopefully it goes pretty well um, and whatnot. So we'll see. We'll see. Without further ado... Let's uh, jump right on into this. Jump right on into this. No characters have been selected. Well, let's create a new character. So you got uh, character name, Lodius. You got, uh, um, hmm. Let's see. But I was gonna do something, uh, something else. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. All right, we'll do something like that. Sure, sure. Jump right onto this. Uh, world name: Loaded Zone. Normal, hard, very hard, very easy, easy. We'll just stick with the normal. And, uh, yeah, let's jump right on into this, and, uh, oh, snap, doing it again, doing it again. Let's jump right on into this and see how it is. It looks pretty interesting. It has the, um, have you guys ever played Pokemon Go? It has those type of graphics, it looks like, by just seeing the one guy. It's very, uh, very interesting, to say the least. But we'll, uh, we'll play this for probably about 30, 45 minutes, and, uh, See how it goes, and if you guys like it, like I said, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are coming to the channel for the first time, make sure you guys smash that like button and uh, the subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot, and uh, help. it'll also help you guys if you guys want to see any more demos and stuff that uh, tend to pop up. And, uh, yeah, as I do tend to upload demos, currently playing through some indie games such as Pal World and uh, uh, House Flipper 2, but uh, and many more to come. So if you guys enjoy that type of content, make sure you guys subscribe. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys around. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this and uh, see what we got going on. Hi, I'm Sharon, the Project Manager, where you're able to enter the world of Omega. Press R if you can hear me. I need you to help me create this world while defeating the bug monsters that are interfering with its development. I have assigned one Grammy for support. It will assist you, uh, it'll, it will assist you with, okay, exploration, battle, etc. Okay. Uh, first, obtain the materials to create a city from the transport pod in front of you. Approach it and press E. Okay. Um, can't build a town without a symbol. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Open the map with M and look at the map. Oh, pretty big map. What's this? Red mark on the map will be the location of the first bug monster that you need to defeat. You will need to be well prepared for the battle. First, let's build a city. Press B to open the build menu to build a city symbol. Okay, and we'll build you. Oh, okay. How big is this gonna be? I guess let's let's do it like this. Place you like right here, I guess. Can't build a city without a symbol. 
Boom, build you. Ooh, nice, nice stone uh, pathway there. Congratulations, you have built a city. Cities are displayed as icons on the map. Anything in the building menu can be placed within the city. Let's build a workbench first. All right, sweet. Let's build a workbench. Land leveling, land leveling dig, land leveling mound, transfer pod. Oh, uh, facilities for diving into this world. So you could probably transfer between pods, I'm assuming. Ooh, the workbench looks pretty cool. Okay. Place you down. Um, open up craft menu to craft a stone axe. So we need stone. You want to select item to craft. Um, workbench by pressing F. Oh, okay. So you got battle or stone axe, pickaxe, bow. You got stone club, stone sword, spear. You got a bunch of gear. You got the light ring. Light intensity plus five. Okay, but you need spores and stuff. Not bad. You got leather armor, wood armor. Two defense, one defense. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. I want you to craft an axe first, but we'll need to gather some stones. Some small stones that are on the ground. You can find stones near the water. So check out the closest pond. Okay, it looks like the closest pond is down here. Let's see if we can find some stones down here. Stamina is very low. So we got some wood over here. E to pick up. So far, I'm not seeing any stones. This almost looks like a river. Oh, it looks like a stone right here, maybe? Oh, a bug fragment. That wasn't even a stone. Where the heck's the stones at, then? This is a pond, right? I guess it's more of like a river now. Oh, you can swim, but it takes stamina. Uh, let's make our way back. I don't want to run all the way down there yet. Yeah, the graphics definitely have, like, uh, graphics that are similar to uh, Pokemon Go. For sure. Like, like, look at the character. Looks similar. Oh, there's a deer here. Oh, here's some stone. This is what I'm looking for. Now we can make that axe. Probably pick up a couple stones, so if we uh, need to make... Um, Anything else we can. Ooh, let's gather up some... What is that? Is that like a fish or something? A boar, maybe? Oh, we take damage. Uh... Oh, snap. Take damage if you run out. Yeah, it looks like a fish. Okay, so you do need your crosshairs on the item that you're trying to, that you intend to pick up. Okay. Um, can this heal us? Now that we have stones, let's craft an axe with a workbench. You can add and require items and craft the axe with... Oh, crap. Uh, e, put items. E, craft. E. Get over here, boar. The combat isn't as, uh... It, it does have a cartoony kind of combat, but it isn't um, City Grammy stock one, so you can upgrade. Oh, you can. Oh, you get a second one. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. So you can have a bunch of them work for you. Bunch of. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool. We picked this up. Uh, eating food temporarily increases HP and stamina. You can hold and consume up to three types of food items by selecting them with your corresponding number on your hotbar. So it's similar to, uh... It's similar to, um, a couple other games. So, like, Valheim and, uh, and Shrouded. Interesting. Cool. Let's try cutting down trees and with the axe. Uh, you can equip... Equip it by pressing the corresponding number on your hotbar. Cool. Okay. So it's like a... It's, it's weird. It's like an automation game, but it's also like, um... So it's like an automation game, but it's also like a survival crafting game, which is very interesting. Very interesting. Yo, bud, are you gonna are you gonna help me out here, man? Okay, here we go. Here we go. So we got a ton of wood. We got a tree seed. Cutting a tree takes a lot of work. Let's see if we can get the Grammy to help you. Open the program editor with G. 
Oh, it's like a programming game too. Okay, this is pretty cool. Learn how to program doing this. So, uh, <coughs> cut tree. I'm gonna load this one. So when play button is pushed, loop, search tree and attack until broken. And then, play button is pushed, search for stone, pick up one, if having an item, then pass item to player. So I want to cut tree, but until it's broken. Then I want it to search for the wood, right? Search wood and pick up one. If having an item, let's see. And we'll throw this here. If having an item, then um, pass item to player. Can we do something like that? So it's search stone, pick up one. If having an item, then pass an item to player. Search tree and attack until broken. Then search wood and pick up one. If having an item, then pass item to player. Ooh, actually, let's do this one instead. Else... Um... Else, search for tree. And attack until broken. So, let's do that. Let's press play and see if it works. Congratulations, you are officially a, fel a fellow developer. You use grannies to help automate various tasks. Press G to close the editor while the program is running. Let the program run for a while to automate collecting wood. Can I rotate my camera while this is open? Oh, it worked! It worked! It freaking worked! Search target not found. Okay, so then this this isn't needed. It sounds like. Oh, loop. So yeah, this isn't needed. So if we open this up and we get rid of this. So let's stop you. I do like how it like tells you like, hey, this isn't needed. Like it doesn't tell us it's not needed, but it gives us that little red area, uh, little red area where it's or the little red uh, exclamation point where it's like, hey, this isn't necessarily needed. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. But it only gives me one. It only gives me one wood. Oh, pick up one. Oh. Interesting. Okay, okay, I see now. So that means... I wonder how... So it's searching to find tree. If it doesn't find tree, then it goes and picks up wood. But it only picks up one wood. If it has a piece of wood, then it passes it to me. If not, it goes back and searches for a tree to attack. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, it looks like it's, like, not the best, um, program, clearly, but it's a start. It is a start. It is a start. Okay. That's fine. When you level up, you obtain points that you can locate to skills. Open the tablet with T and locate the, um, locate points with a skill column. Make Buddy Grammy stronger to fight against bug monsters. Okay. Oh, there's a... Okay, there's no scroll. A bunch coming soon. Not too bad. <clears throat> Let's see. Increased dodge. Um, marathoner. Stamina reduction on dash. So you can dash. Attack. 
is increased by one. This effect also applies to arrows. Um, oh, I want to do buddies. Data recovery. Buddy Grammy's HP recovers. 1% for each enemy killed nearby. Buddy's attack is increased by two. Okay, so I want to increase the attack. Currently level one of ten. Okay. Cool. And then I have one more unused skill point, which is going to be stamina reduction from dodging. Um, you know what? Let's just do another one into this. Can I? No. Consume bug fragments times five to reset skills. When you eat food, Buddy Grammy's HP recovers by ten. Increased defense. Max HP. Buddy learns. Let's do this one. Can I? Nope. I can't do that one. Okay, then let's, I guess, increase my own. That's the case. Oh, Grammy and then players. Okay, I see, I see now. I see now. Cool, now that that's done. Um, come over here. F. Stone pick. Um, F or E. Okay, so we need more stone. Of course we need more stone. Why wouldn't we need more stone? Let's see if we can find some more stone. There's more stone across the river, but we know how that went before. Oh, I can't, I can just have my buddy do it. Mine. Load. Start. Target not found. Target not found. Make my way over here then. Okay. So he's going to continuously keep searching for that until he finds it. Can you mine this? Yeah, you can, baby. Mine me up some stone, pal. Cool. What, what do we have down here? Ore skin, equipment, level, XP, stamina. Okay, cool. GT, tab is backpack. B is to build. C is... Okay, this shows my city, it looks like. And then alt. Okay. Chat, building menu, build, relocate, remove, buddy grammy editor. Okay, interesting. Play stop buddy grammy tablet. Okay, cool. Perfect. So now that that's all done, now I can come over here. Collect lots of wood. Okay. I guess this is like our quest up top here. Looks like we got our mini map. So let's, I guess, set our buddy up to collect lots of wood. Ooh, I can actually have a buddy. Okay, okay, I see how I see how we can fully automate this now. I, I see how we can fully automate this. So if we have, let's load cut tree for bud. X this, then we'll have this Grammy. Um, support, cut and collect wood. Garden where trees grow. Please select recipe. Okay, so I can't do that yet. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do um, build. Single container. Container that can only hold one type of item. Processing table. Workshop for items. Garden. Can, only, can be built within the town. Allows you to grow seeds and trees to plant them. So let's grow this, like here, here. Uh, e to open editor. Um, cut and collect wood. Garden one. Decide. Container. Oh, I don't have a container for wood. So I will need to build a container for wood. Multi chest. Okay, let's just do a mini chest here. Um, I'll place you down like right here, I guess. E to open. I'll throw the seeds in here. Okay. So now if we do open editor, uh, we do collect this. Um, garden. Decide with this chest. Decide with tree seeds. And then container to hold wood. Um, oh, I don't need to put the tree seeds in there. Okay. So when play button is pushed, loop, cut tree and garden one. Try. Loop near garden one, pick up wood, put item in single container. If it fails, um, having an item, then put item on the ground. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So let's do that. Let's open this. 
Ooh, so it looks like only a container can... Ooh, that sucks. Cabbage. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna stop you. Um, let's grab this. E. E. Garden one is both. Okay, cool. So this guy will do that. We'll do this one. Um. Support UI. Okay. So then this guy will be... So I wonder if I could set that up to where he'll do mining and he'll gather stone. But if there's no stone in the area, then he'll give it to me. Does that make sense? I'm sure there's a way. So the bow, simple bow from wood and stone, it looks like you don't need arrows. You don't need to craft arrows, which is pretty cool. Um, let's do B again. Let's see. So we could for a respawn point and rest for the night. So we'll craft this guy. And we'll place you down right here. E to register, E to take a rest, sleep through the night. No bed or anything, which is cool. We'll just sleep near the fire. No problem. Wake up, nothing like a new day. Tree not found, that's okay. Uh, let's go back here. Um, we can do some more leveling, transfer pod. Simple equipment for cooking, but we need bones. Okay, processing table, so we need 20 wood. Use to expand the town. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is huge, so we can expand the town out this way, which is very cool. Cannot be placed there because there's an object above it. Okay, interesting, interesting. Very cool, very cool, very cool. I do like this. Okay, not enough material. So let's have this guy. Uh, let's do G and do uh, load cut tree. And then we'll do this for now. And then I want to come over here and do... Okay, so we can't... Okay, let's see. Loop. Um... I, I need to look at this guy real quick. Actually, I don't need to go over there, do I? Uh, let's see. If I press C... No, not C. Alt. Okay. Let's see. So, is there a way for me to copy this? So let's see, when play button is pushed, loop. And then try, loop again. So when play button is pressed, loop. Uh, loop. Try. Loop. Cut tree until it's broken. Right? If it fails. No. Just try loop. Cut tree. That's still not solving my problem with uh, the person. Plus, this one will be doing it once these trees load. It just takes a minute for them to load. So, because I was going to do cut tree. Pass item to player. If it fails. Ah, you know what? I'll just do cut tree. That's like the easiest way to go right now. Like, I don't need to have anything crazy going on. Wait, so we'll need to go down here and fight this monster. We can... We can try it. T, open a new... Open tablet to learn scale. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's hard. Oh, so the, the buddy will immediately go for it. Nice! Okay, I do, I do like that. I do like that. I do like that. Okay, nice. 
So he's not going to collect for me. I'll just have to go and collect from him. But that's not the end of the world. I can easily do that. I can easily do that. Okay, sweet. I think he came up here at one point, I guess. Well, it looks like there's a bug fragment over there. Uh, G will stop you. Got yeah, plenty of seeds. Yeah, these little white things are bug fragments, which are like bugs in like the in like the developing uh, process. If you guys didn't know, which I think is pretty funny and pretty cool. Um, I think I think that's pretty funny. It's also pretty cool that they they, they did it that way. Um, let's um, mine stone and press play. For you, what is here? Loot. Loot! Okay, well, I'm gonna take all of you. Five bug fragments, nice. Oh, and it leaves the crate open so you don't like double loot things. That's pretty cool. Looks like we got something else over there, which we can go check out here in a second. I think we got plenty of stone now. I know it says that we need to collect lots of wood, but we have the, um, the trees growing. Hopefully they replant. If not, it's not the end of the world. Um, but hopefully they do. Oh, there's a deer. There's another deer. Looks like there's another bug fragment way over there. Okay, we'll grab you three bug fragments. Not too bad, not too bad. Guess I'll take this guy out. Okay. It is oddly satisfying, like, knocking that stuff out. Like, it's not too hard. Um, oh, we got more skills. So let's up the, um, okay, attack, we need two more. Let's do, um, max HP, I guess. Ooh, expand inventory slots by two. That's actually a huge one. Let's do that one. And then we'll go HP and stuff like that. Uh, let's up you. Okay. Not too bad. Definitely a, a nice little game. Definitely fun. Easy. Um, let's head back to uh, our base, see if we got, if they got any wood going. And then, um, we will, we will, uh, go in, uh, maybe try and take on that one boss. See how things are. So we got trees going. They haven't chopped them yet. Oh, because there's still 30 seconds left. Um, let's see. Oh, I understand the multiple chest now. A chest that can store multiple item types, because this single chip container can only hold one type of item. That makes sense now. That makes sense now. We still need bones for this. I want wood for this, for the processing table. I'm surprised that we don't have enough wood yet for that. Um, enhancements. Chair you can sit on allows to speed up Grammy's work at the processing table. Gardens are less likely to be destroyed. A fire to light the darkness. Okay, action. Simple moving wall made of wood. Moving floor. Interesting. Structure to build like your house. Nice. And then decoration. Okay, cool. Um, increase item handling speed for Grammys within range. Oh, bark. Okay, okay, interesting. Very interesting. Is he going to replant the seed, I wonder? I hope he replants. That'd be huge. I don't think he's gonna replant. I don't think he's gonna replant. If it fails having an item, then put item on the ground. But then I wonder if I could throw in then pick up seed plant seed loop so let's stop this and see if I can throw like an then statement in increment de decrement can harvest from <laughs> loop so 
Let's see. If it fails, if having an item, then put item on the ground. Um, we could just do a try. Um, oh no, we could just do the same thing, but after it. Try, um, pick up item from, uh oh. Can I just do plant seed in garden one? If it fails. Oh, I could just do a try then. I don't even need. Um, let's see. Green number exits can harvest from can plant two. Garden one this side. Then If can plant to garden one, then plant seed in garden one. But I would need to pick up crap. I think I need another one that just does seeds in another chest. What is this one? Put tree in. Huh. Because when play button is pushed, loop, cut tree in garden one. Try, loop, near garden one, pick up wood, put item in single container. If it fails, having an item, then put item on the ground. If can plant a garden one, then plant seed in garden one. Hmm. I'm curious to try this. Don't have seed. So it needs to pick a seed up. It would need to pick a seed up from a chest. So this isn't going to work. It's going to need to pick a seed from a chest. It looks like. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll need to get another chest. And basically, I'm going to have to plant these myself for now. Unless I build another chest. Where, it's, where I say, hey, get said... Um, uh, thing from chest. Oh, I need planks for that. Interesting. So then I'd have to build this, then, say like here. But this one would be seeds. So then if I do G, I guess E for you, then if I stop you, open you up, and then basically do this all over again. So when play button is pushed, loop, cut tree in garden one. Try, loop, near garden one, pick up wood. Put item in single container. If it fails, if having an item, then put item on the ground. But then I should do, um, try, or no, it would need to be, It would need to be um, crap. Would it be a loop? I, it wouldn't be loop. It would be basically try if else fails again. Try. Huh. Or it could just be this. No, because I need to pick the item up. So yeah, I could do try here. And then basically do the same thing up here. Do um, near garden one, pick up 
tree seed decide. Oh, let's do loop this and then do put item in put item in which I could just do past the player but I wanted to put item in one container two if else fails if else fails grab is there a grab pass item to player move to put item on the ground I could do if else fails because like once you put it in the container you can place it on the ground but if it if it fails you put it on the ground then Okay, okay, I think I, I think I got it, I think I got it. If then, and then we grab, um, having an item, place it on the ground, right? Because like if it's full, we want them to put it on the ground. But then I want them to basically loop, a, or do it again um, loop, try, um, but then I want them to cut tree, plant seed in garden, one. But I just want them to try, I don't, so then is there... Ooh, let's try this one. Loop, if then, can plant to garden one, then, how do I grab an item? Pick up item from here. Pick up item from here, plant seed in garden one, right? So, you want to cut tree in garden one, pick up the wood, place it in the single container. If it fails having an item, then put it on the ground. Then I want you to try to, near garden one, pick up tree seeds, put it in the single container. If it fails, if having an, a, a, like a different item, or if it, if it has an item and it's full, then put the item on the ground. But then, if you can plant to garden one, then pick up the item from single container two, and plant seed in garden one. I'm sure there's a way more simpler way to do this, but let's see if it works. Tree seed not found, but you just planted it. You just, I, or no, I planted, no, I think they plant, I think I planted them. So tree seed not found, but container two is here. How, how did you not find it? Can plant to garden one then, so it's stuck on that if statement. Oh, because I have it looping, but I have it looping because, like, you can plant in two spots. Well, I guess it, I don't need the if statement. No, because I need it. I don't need the looping statement. Because I don't need the loop because, like, it's going to go through. Cool, if it can't plant... Or if it can plant, it'll plant the one seed. Then it'll loop it again, go all the way through. And then it's like, hey, I can plant again. I'll just plant it again. So, yep, garden found. Yeah, it's, see, it's, fa it's failing, so it's just going all the way through. Tree not found, tree not found. Cool, and it can't plant. So I think, I think we're okay there. I think we're okay there. So if we plant this, can it do it now? Oh, it grabs the seed! And it plants! Let's go, dude! We freaking programmed! Let's go, baby! That's what I'm talking about! That is what I am talking about, dude! Heck yeah! That's freaking sick! 
Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to get done today. Yo, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys definitely tap that like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys are new to the channel or any tips and tricks or anything for this game, let me know in the comments if uh, you guys want to learn how to program or check this out. Definitely, um, definitely check it out. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. Um, and whatnot. Uh, definitely, a, I can definitely see it helping you plan to try and program. Um, that was actually pretty awesome. I know we didn't get to uh, fighting this boss down here. Um, like I said, I was going to. We can head that way and see see what it's all about. But, um, yeah, if uh, you guys want to check it out, definitely, um, definitely make sure you guys uh, put it on your wish list or tap that, um, go and try out the demo. Um, but yeah, tap that subscribe button if you guys uh, definitely enjoyed this. Um, if you guys want to see a full playthrough of this when uh, the game is fully released, or I can continue playing through the demo. If you guys want to see more episodes of me playing through the demo, I can definitely do that. Just let me know down in the comments, and uh, I can do that for you guys. Because this is actually super cool. It's definitely a unique twist on... Uh, on. Um, it's definitely a unique twist on a survival game, which is definitely pretty dang cool. So... If you guys definitely want to see more of this, I am totally willing to play more of this because this is actually quite a bit of fun. And it's actually pretty mind-boggling that uh, it basically teaches you how to code while playing a game, which is pretty freaking sweet. There are many necessary materials. Automate the Grammy in order to gather materials for uh, efficiently. Okay, so basically we, we should get another Grammy for um, gathering stone. So now that we did that, I'm sure there's a way to program him to gather the stone, or gather wood, then gather, um, or not, basically mine stone, pick it up, hand it to us, go back, and keep doing that until so on and so forth. Blocks in the coding editor can be copied and pasted. This will allow you to create programs more efficiently. Okay, cool. Cool. Booyah, baby, sit down. Okay, cool. That's pretty sick. Let's see, where are we going? Oh, I'm heading over here to this bug. I want to see if we can take out this ma uh, this massive bug. This is a log left by previous developer. Let's proceed with development by efficiently utilizing the wisdom of our predecessors. You know what would be wild? If basically, like, this game was, like, created, and as you tend to, like, develop stuff within the game, it gets added to the game... So it's almost like a uh, like you continually make the game, like players continuously make the game while playing. That'd be that'd be interesting as all can be. It'd be wild though. Okay. I think we'll. I, I don't think we'll have a problem taking on this guy, especially now that we got this. I'll level up my health, and then we'll level up this guy's health, and then we'll go take on this massive bug. Hopefully, we can take it on. Ooh, there's some new trees that we haven't seen before. We haven't seen these ones before. But after we defeat this boss, if we can defeat it, that'll probably be the end of the episode. But I do hope you guys enjoyed uh, this as much as I have. Um, and I do hope to uh, see some of you guys, some of you get new guys subscribe if you guys do end up enjoying it. Or if you guys want to check out the, uh, the all the programming stuff by yourself. That'd be pretty cool. So it looks like every time you destroy a tree... Uh, wood block or a monster, you get XP. E, summon. You need to have two special items. Enemies may be hiding items needed for summoning. It might be a good idea to search for big black buildings. The closest point is indicated on your map with a yellow icon. Okay, maybe we are not going to uh, summon the boss. Um, we are getting a lot more bugs out here, which is pretty cool. There's I see three of them so far. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode off there. Hopefully, it's a bit of a longer one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Um, I definitely enjoyed this. This was super cool. I wasn't expecting to be the whole uh, the whole programming thing um, and whatnot. But um, it, it is. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And like I said, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. Don't forget to comment what you guys think. Any tips and tricks. Or if you guys want to see, uh, see more of this, um, I can definitely do that. Also, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys end up enjoying, uh, I do upload demos of all sorts of indie games from like Steam Next Fest or demos that I find that, I find that pique my interest. And also, uh, I do playthroughs of indie games as well. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And uh, if so, make sure you guys tap that subscribe button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. 
I love seeing all the new faces uh, join our small little uh, community. And uh, yeah, I'm Lodius. This has been Omega Crafter. Omega Crafter. So if you guys enjoyed, like I said, definitely go check it out and uh, throw it on your wish list for when the uh, game fully releases. Or you guys can try out the demo. Once again, this was from Steam Next Fest, and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!